Hello everyone, I'm Melons. You may know me from my Stardew Valley content, but today we're talking Fields of Mystria, the new cozy game that released in early access at the beginning of August. If you've been enjoying the game just as much as I have, I put together a little video with some tips and tricks that you probably didn't know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and a follow from our cozy gaming content. When you first enter the mines, there are a few variations of these monsters that will spit rocks at you. When you hit them with any type of sword, you will only do one damage. But if you swing your sword when the rock is being thrown at you, it will reverse it back and hit the monster, therefore defeating it. I'm really bad at combat, so maybe it's just me, but this took me a while to figure out, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. If you haven't done much exploring of the east side of the map, there are many really good items over here for you. There is a fountain that you can drink out of every day to get a few energy points back. There is also a well that you can throw 100 or 500 gold into and that will get you some sort of prize. For forgeable items here, you can also pick a few fruit trees depending on the season. And this leads me into tip number three. There are little patches of wheat to the east of town in the same area and I heavily recommend cutting them with your sword. From this, you'll either get hay or seed, which is free and very easy way to feed your farm animals. If you're like me with placement regret and wish you put your barn or coop elsewhere, there is a fairly simple solution to this. By clicking your building and hitting the remove button, you'll get a message saying that you can't remove this because there are animals living there. Do not build a new building to move your animals like I did the first time. Head over to Hayden shop and put all of your animals into daycare. You can put in multiple animals for free and however long you need. Now you can go remove your building. This will give you the blueprint and all of your materials back so you don't have to worry about losing anything. If you're hunting for artifacts, here's a secret that you probably didn't know. If you hop into the ocean and head southwest, you'll find an island with a coconut tree, a forageable flower, and a daily artifact spot. All you have to do is swim there and hop ashore. And once you move along in the game and start getting your perks for leveling up skills, make sure you select the farming perk on level 15 that grants you the ability to collect coins when harvesting, and the perk on level 30 that allows you to collect cooked items when harvesting as well. I had this one growing my pumpkins and I earned so much extra money from just selling the cooked dishes. Most of the time they're ones that are worth 600 or 700 coins. Now, before we hop into the next part of the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more cozy gaming content. Lastly, these aren't necessarily tips, but they are two things that I really like about the game. If you pass out, no matter where you are, you won't face any consequences that are detrimental for the early game, like losing money. You'll lose a few hours in the morning, as well as some health and energy, but in my opinion, it's not really that big of a deal. So if you're getting close to getting something done, don't stress about passing out. Also, your items won't despawn. I've played multiple in-game days, even crossing over from season to season, and my inventory was full and the same forgeable item was still on the ground days later after I picked it. If your inventory is full when you pass a forgeable item, pick it and let it hang out on the ground. You can always come back and collect it later. This is one aspect that I absolutely love about the game. This way, you can get that forgeable item to regrow as many times as possible before the season ends. All right, well, those are all of my Fields of Mystery tips for you so far. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and a follow for more cozy gaming content, and I hope you guys enjoy Fields of Mystery just as much as I have so far.